All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for tuning in to our one-on-one -on -one interviews with cast members from Wired. I have Jacob Flores sitting here with me. Hey. He played the part of Tyler in the book Wired um, and the uh, short film Wired, who is the arch nemesis of Ladarius. Um, very low kept secret about Tyler because I don't want to ruin it all, but um, he, he, is a, he is what I like to call that that um that arrogant hot boy in the film that that definitely lets you know he has that attitude and that swagger and he he deserves that spot that that was rightfully his but um without further ado i'm gonna turn it over to jacob i'm gonna let him introduce himself what's going on with him where you can find him on social media and yeah without further ado go ahead and take the seat hey guys so yeah just like edward said uh, i'm jacob flores i had the privilege of playing uh, tyler in wired which is like you said the arch nemesis kind of hot-headed, you know, enemy of, of Leroy's character. Um, currently, I'm a student at SDSU, 19 years old. I'm trying to pursue the major of filmmaking with a minor in theater arts as well. And, yeah, that's about it. Nice. Did, did, you, give up your, did you give up the social media handle? You know, ah, that's that up right. There. All right, the, the social media. On Instagram, Facebook, it's Jacob D. Flores. All right, there you have it. Jacob D. Flores on social media handles. Um, <clears throat> all right, so... Diving right in, let's let's talk about Wired in a whole. I don't um, I don't know if you had a chance to read read the book. Tell the viewers, and you know, and I always want to know from from your standpoint is reading it and jumping into that that character role. Like, what did you think about the story in itself? Uh, the story itself was great because football has been like a big part of like you know my childhood growing up, and obviously like my high school career. I played three years of it, and then even now at SSU, just some intramural flag football for fun. Okay. So, like, uh, football's always been, like, a thing. My Chargers are playing right now as we speak, actually. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the story itself was was nice. I didn't get to finish finish it all the way through yet, but just I've been busy with school and, and oh, stuff like that. You know? But uh, the character Tyler, just in general, to get into was, I know, because, like, I originally got this information for the shoe on Backstage, and so I remember just the only like thing you put for like the description was just oh he needs to be athletic he needs to be like above 510 and I was like all right well I mean I'm 62 I I think I'm athletic I'm pretty athletic right like I do some sports and I work out frequently so I was like why not let's do this thing and then it's just basically set out from there like I didn't really have to like change myself like too much personality wise obviously I had to be more of like a a dick <laughs> yeah right? arrogant yeah, yeah uh, they're more arrogant because uh, I'm usually I mean I'm not that much of like a, a cocky person <laughs> but I, I I do like portraying that in a character that's cool and I thought I was always just really interesting doing that but uh, yeah Tyler I really enjoyed playing for the for that day of shooting that we did that's cool and like I said um, like the the role you play like you know just being on set a couple of the days and kind of saying the, the, the dynamics of just you know like you know the the glare in your eyes like you know like this is my spot i'm coming for it i'm taking it um it worked perfect with um with what i was wanting to see and and tasha as well um but yeah it was it was great it was great um next question we'll jump into were there any challenge challenges in it for you anything that it kind of um yeah i mean Acting wise, I always have a, like trouble like not looking into the camera, but it's like that, that's just one of those things that you, obviously you get better with it in, in time. And I know it was it was pretty interesting just kind of blocking all the scenes and stuff because I haven't really blocked all the scenes and stuff like that on the fly. Or like, oh, we're just gonna go to this location. Hopefully, they don't kick us out of like the little location, and I would just shoot it, boom, boom, and then you know I just keep going, just do it. And I've always had also some trouble memorizing lines, but. I think it still went really, really smooth, I think. That's good. That's good. Speak, speaking of acting, you just brought up acting. Um, I don't know if we, we touched it, but it, was this your first role in anything, or have you had any others? And if um, so, what else have you you've been a part of? Uh, Lead-wise, my <coughs> first ever lead role was in an action, an SCSU student film called okay. Smoke. And that was just like a, it was like more of like a, a comedic kind of thing, and there's just me and, and, and a friend were like just, like the whole purpose of that film was we're just trying to get weed. Like, best of all, but like, they, like one thing led to another, 
and I'm like we just see ourselves like in some circumstances that is just kind of crazy and out of the out of the box basically. Okay. But then this one, uh, I want to say maybe my third or fourth set where I was like an actual like major player in, in, in the production process. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I and um two things. First thing is um it's. The short, I, I, I really hate the short, doesn't really jump that much into Tyler's character. But like I said in the book, as you know, you've probably been reading, like, there's just this ongoing feud with yeah, the two. So since the, their, their peewee time. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward. Like I said, I wanted to go go to a full-on production uh, so people will get a chance to see that, that dynamics of the two throughout the film. Um, and second, uh, kind of before we, we came on here, we were talking about how we kind of ran it. This is kind of like not our first time running into each other. Um, me and you both were kind of um, doing uh, an audition for, for another film uh, where it kind of fell through. I know I didn't hear anything back. I, and like I think you said, you didn't hear anything back. But it's just I think it's funny how small the community, the acting community is. And I was just talking with Amaya on her interview is how, you know, you can be on set with one person and then run into them again. Because exactly, yep. um, she's working with Leroy right now as well on another film. But yeah, it's just funny how we almost crossed paths and ended up working on another one uh, together. But that was kind of funny. All right. Um, so we talked about challenges. Uh, next day I was wondering, uh, as far as cast members and I, and, I, and it's kind of hard to say because I know you I think the dynamics uh, in this short you only got a chance to interact with Leroy mm-hmm. and Amaya really um, in that, that old triangle atmosphere but how was it working with both of them both of them are great because like they've obviously they, they're like even though I know it was probably Maya's first shoot I'm not too sure I, I, if I you know yeah she said it was her first yeah. yeah okay okay but and I know Leroy was also just getting into it but you know on being on the actual set on production it, it felt like they've been doing it for a while so and and just the chemistry between all, all of us it was just really easy to work off of, off of. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah but if, if I had like really single out you know grown person that really really like helped out boost my performance in a way it was definitely Leroy because obviously we were the only ones like mainly talking to each other uh, but just me and him and like the chemistry and, and you know that build up of like tension and stuff like yeah. that was really really nice yeah and he, and he gave you a mention um, he, uh, in his interview that he, he definitely uh, liked working with you as well so again it's always good to see that you know on whether on set or on set how you know actors and actresses how they kind of um, embrace each other's mm-hmm. elements so that was always a good thing um I had one good question. Oh, before I get any other questions, I, mm. one thing I did forget. I know you didn't make our, our rap part. Unfortunately, had, yeah, another yeah, production. We had a rap part, and I, I totally understand that. But I, what I wanted to do, I had a couple things that I wanted to basically give out to you. Uh, the first one was uh, I had these basically all framed for everyone. Oh, You're basically uh, just the, the poster with everybody starring. Oh, this is awesome. So, yeah, so that was one of the cool things. And then there was the... Uh, we had our own little we had a little Oscar set up so okay. everybody came and did like little performances when they got called uh-huh. up so this was an award um, for you know it says Jacob Flores best supporting actor on oh, wire so shit. you missed your Oscar so oh, I took it home for you and then of course it. there's always the, the swag bag so there's a little swag bag with some things in it um, yeah so and, and definitely awesome. enjoy those those things. Thank you so much. I just wanted to make sure I got those to you. This is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. All right. So, so moving along. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a fun filled day. I I do wish everybody could have made it, but I know everybody had other commitments. But um, the thought I think everybody was there in spirit, and I know Leroy accepted some awards. I think he might have accepted the award for you. Like, <laughs> you know, this is for my boy. You know, Jacob. So it was real cool. It was real cool. Um, I will throw in one thing though. We did discuss challenges, but one of the uh, super like highlights of the set was getting to drive the Tesla. Oh, <laughs> the Tesla! That even though I, it was just in the parking lot, and like I just got to like pull up the Tesla into the, the little spot and like have a couple shots in there it was really cool because that's like the car that I'm trying to get like right now, and I just I freaking love Teslas, so oh yeah, it was really cool just driving one and just feeling like a 
badass inside like the, the driver's seat. I think you're on your way. Like, yeah, because you were, it was Willie's car, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Willie. I when I you know the things that you say you're doing with school, man. I know you're on your way because um, you know, film, it, theater that opens the doors to a to a lot of wealth if you really hit the ground grinding with it. Um, like I said, my my degree is in you know web and graphic designs, but if I if I could go back and do it all over again based on you know this this little bit of you know theater directing and and all this that I've gotten into. I think I would have embraced that hard and I would have ran heavy with it. So it's no doubt that you won't be doing some, some great things. And hopefully you won't forget about me and just say, hey, I, need, I need somebody on the set. I, I don't care what job it is. I'll, I'll take it. I work from the bottom and work my way up. So just, right. just don't forgive me, man. For sure. All right. Um, what was the other thing I said? Challenge, cast and crew members. Oh, I always ask everybody who was their favorite cast member on set again or crew it could be cast or crew so it doesn't have to be a cast member because i know you only kind of interacted with uh Leroy and amaya but if you had one person that was on set that you kind of you know want to give a, a shout out to who would it be yeah so i already gave the, the shout out to Leroy mm-hmm. earlier but i think monique obviously was really really nice and she really just kept it all like she kept like, basically the glue kept keeping everything together especially just meeting her at the table read she's super nice super like welcoming and I just felt like, comfortable right off the bat when she like introduced herself and just welcomed me in to the that's production great. with open arms so it was really nice for her that's nice yeah and man I, I can't tell you enough how how excited I am that, that she ended up being on the project because she did bring that like you said the glue um, she definitely brought brought a lot together just making sure everybody was good to go you know whether it was food refreshments mm-hmm. wardrobe you know she was all over the place taking care of everything so um, yeah, definitely big shout out to Monique. Um, yeah. All right. So I know I've done a lot of talking. I'm going to open the floor <laughs> up to, to you for a question or two okay. or three that you want. Questions. Uh, the biggest question that I, like refers to my call on the way here was like, if there's a, how close, if at all, would we be to making a potential feature, extending it to something, part two? Because I know I want to be Tyler again real bad. So it's funny you ask that because I was going to close out with this question. Okay. And I, didn't, I didn't ask any of the other actors, but I should have, but I'm going to double back. If, let's, let's hypothetically say, because um, everybody that, that has read it said they loved it and enjoyed it. So if you were pitched and said, hey, look, we're going to play this like a Hollywood film. You know how basically in Hollywood they won't take money up front, but they take money on the back right. end? Yeah. If, if I approached you and I said, hey, we want to shoot this entire script from start book to end, but everybody takes that risk of taking the re- recruitment on the back end, do you think it's something that you would do? 100%. 100%. Honestly, no con- like, I, like Just being Tyler in general for like this movie would just be a reward in itself because I've always wanted to be in, in a, a film like this. I'm like a big action guy, so anything like sports related I want to be in, anything like military related I want to be in. So it's like this, especially, why I just, I want to be able to strap on pads, look good for the camera and, you know, truck somebody or something. I don't know. That's good. And that's, yeah, it would come down to that. But that, I'm glad you asked that because um, that's something that I do want to do. I, I just uh, spoke with uh, with Leroy's father, you know, he's Leroy uh, Barry Sr. And I was telling him that that's, that's kind of like my plan. I You know, regardless of uh, the short, you know, how good it does do or doesn't do, you know, um, I think I want to to push this as a full full production and to have you on and you know hopefully Leroy, Sandra, Maya have everybody come on board to to say hey let's let's just shoot this you know yeah. like we we enjoy we enjoy the the short let's just make it happen and if nothing happens with it at least we know there's this full length movie with us in there to to have in our catalog for yeah. years to come you know. You know, nobody ever take that away from you and say you, you weren't in a full length film, you exactly. know, regardless. Yeah. But um but yeah, so that's good to know. And um I got that in the back of my head now. I'm gonna double back and holler at Leroy, I'm gonna <laughs> holler at Cassandra, and I'm gonna holler at Amaya uh to get them on board and um let's see where it goes. Definitely. I, I and like if you that. need any other, you know, maybe cast, other extras, even crew members, I have super talented guys on my end at SCSU that I've been working with. So Okay. If you ever need help from them I try to give them a holler but yeah 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. Go ahead and put the bug in their ear, <laughs> and if they want, if they want a full the full script to just kind of take a look and see if they want to they want to be vested in it. Hey, All right. that's what I and that's what I do. I you know I you know I'll, I'll hand it to to people that say they you know they might be interested, and if they read it and say you know what this was this was dope, like count me in. I'll be your first camera guy, second camera. I'll be your this that. If everybody's on board with it, I say we rock and roll and we make it a full production. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. One more question. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, All but right. what out of the interviews you, you've conducted, which one has been your favorite to conduct? Favorite personal question. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely put me on the spot, and I'm probably gonna get some some uh, some 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 slack uh, from. <laughs> If they, if they end up uh, watching it to its end, but I know I know Leroy will. But um, I'm gonna say like this. Uh, I gotta I gotta take my hat off to Leroy. Like me and his interview was just you know it was it was full of comedy. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to see. Yeah, I spent. I watched the entire uh, hour. <laughs> start, started off you know getting his name wrong, and we just <laughs> went into. Everything to the elephant and the giraffe at the <laughs> end, so it just yeah. it was it was fun. So I got I got to take my hat off to Leroy on that one, you know. So far, but um, yeah, n- nothing against everyone else. Cause I love sitting down <laughs> with each and every one of you because um, when you like you said when you when you leave set, it's kind of like man, you're like you had that that look that connection. Yeah. Like everything was cool, and like I said, we even had so much fun at the the rap party to where nobody wanted it to be over and. <laughs> You know, but we're all looking for a reason to get back together, which is going to be good. Um, like you heard in uh, some of the other interviews, uh, we will be doing, you know, uh, um, a feature event. I uh, just don't know what what location we're going to have it at yet. You know, AMC, they do, um, they rent out their theaters. Balboa Park has like a theater yeah, outside. Yeah. And then there's the Grove in L.A. So, you know, hopefully... One of those will land. One of those, and yeah, we'll we'll do a we'll do a release, and you know we'll sell a couple tickets to the, the outsiders that want to come in and support everybody, and you know dump all the proceeds back into all the actors' pocket. I probably should have said that on camera, <laughs> but no, that's the plan is to try and you know put some proceeds back in to uh, everyone's pocket for for participating in this event. But um, yeah. All right. One last question. One last I, know question. I, was, uh, I know I said before one more question, but <laughs> all right, here's one more. My on my end, uh, how did I do as an actor for your character? Any notes? Any you know, goods, bads? Um, I can honestly say, um, at first, I'm trying to think back to my notes. Um. I think at first I I didn't think you were gonna have that cockiness to you. Yeah. You see, you came across as like too friendly. Yeah. But then like when I got a chance to see you up close, when you had that like that stare down uh, with them, you know, your yeah. confrontational yep. parts, it was kind of like I almost feel like he really hates this dude. Like like <laughs> like you took my spot, bro. Like you you need to step down. You know, yeah. like you're nothing. You know, and then like I said, you got on him about his dad and I was like yeah he kind of that that seems heartfelt so at first I thought it was going to be one of those you know you weren't going to be able to play that 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 cocky you know arrogant you know I'm all in your face now what but yeah you pulled it off man and like I said you know when we roll this clip you know you'll definitely you know you'll definitely see what I'm talking about but yeah action yo D so is it true? We're finally hanging up the police this season? Guess my job was fast, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, you got much I always wanted. To be out my shadow. Hey, just remember the only reason that I was ever in your shadow is because of an ankle injury back in Pub Warner, all right? <laughs> oh, man. Really? Really, Tyler? So you're telling me you couldn't have bounced back after all these years and taken your spot back? Yeah, let me answer that for you. No! I've always been a good actor. Yeah, I'll let you think that, but when I take the field starting the season, the whole crowd's gonna know. No, no, the whole town is gonna know. That starting spot belonged to me the entire time. Hey, the only reason you got your starting spot is because your daddy broke all the records back in the day, right? 
Now your chances of breaking nose are basically gone. Just like him. I asked you, kick What is going on here? Why do you two like about to have one on one scrimmage against each other? Seconds of running back this season. <laughs> hey, say what you must, bro. But throw the games from the bleachers this season, as I break some of your daddy's old records. Wasn't a doubt, so you, you're good on that. <laughs> All right. All right. So my lightning round question. All right. All right. Um. Trying to mix them up a little bit. I know I asked some of us. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to go with Leroy's question. All right. Hey, elephant or the, <laughs> or the giraffe? Which... I'm not going to go too in detail about my choice here. I mean, I did practice, you know, potentially getting this, this question. But it goes back to what you said. Is elephant because... They're like the bigger beast. They're they're more menacing, you know. Yeah. So it's like if I show up somewhere just ride on one of those, it's just like, dang, like don't mess with this guy. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And you know, depending on the elephant, they have like those freaking sharp tusks and can break a bunch of stuff. I don't know. It's it's just like yeah. it's just chaotic, you know. All right. That's why nothing, 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 nothing <laughs> anyone knows behind that. It just just because it looks cool. That's that's all. All, right. all right. Cool. All right. Um. I always ask this one because it, it lets me know the personality of someone. Um, what what song can you have on repeat in your iPod for a whole day? iPod. Man, did I say iPod? <laughs> yeah, I'm going oh, too man. far back. I didn't say iPod. In your iPhone. Oh, jeez. What, what's, what's your go-to song? What, what has ah, you? Ah, man. I'm not supposed to be lighting, but now I have freaking thing because this one I did, not, I did not get a chance <laughs> to see. All right. A lot of people don't know this about me, though, is that I, my, my genre of music, even though I might not express it this way, is actually pop. Okay. So okay. I'm a big pop person, and like my favorite artist, at least at the moment, is like is Charlie Puth. So okay. I would I would probably put something from his Voice Notes album or something on the repeat because okay, I Puth, and just right. sing along like in my car. Yeah, I know we're we're kind of kind of dynamic there, but yeah, definitely no, some Charlie. I Puth. mean, like music is a universal language, and I tell everybody that. I mean, um. I listen to all kinds of music, except for the stuff where they're just screaming and yelling. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand now, and I, I, I haven't never been able to. You know, maybe somebody can translate it for me one day. But like music, like you can listen to some of everything. When I say yeah. some of everything, you know, like I may not even know the the artist, but if I hear it and I like it, mm. I rock to it. You know exactly. what I mean? Like I don't, exactly. know, I don't care who thinks what. You know, you listen to country. Yeah, listen to country. Some yeah, some I some about this in the country. Even at some times, because I also come from an orchestra kind of background too. Because I used to play viola back in middle school. Okay, so I have like viola. three years of experience there. Okay. So I I do like some some orchestra stuff. I would listen to like some uh, musical scores from different films and games, stuff like that too as well. Oh, that's nice. Such a little bit on the classical stuff. Uh, mainly people like you know like big names like John Williams. You know, obviously, okay. big big composer there, but. Yeah, a bunch of different stuff I've listened to, but like you said, I'm like some screamo metal or something. I don't really rock with that too much. All right, cool. Yep. All right, the one I always ask to be stuck in a movie theater oh, for man. 24 hours and had to watch a movie on repeat over and over. <sighs> what movie would you watch over and over? I'd probably just have to go with like my all-time favorite, which is... Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. Oh man, you're a Star my, Wars guy. Yeah, I'm a Star Wars nerd. Okay, okay. Yeah, I love all of them. Even even the sequel trilogies, which are highly you know debated, but I love all of them. But five is definitely my my top one. My top five. Film. Okay, okay. Funny funny story about Star Wars is that I think I might have like when I was young, I started off. I probably watched the first ones that came out, and then I kind of fell off, and then Willie. Um, Willie was uh, I was over at Willie House one day and he was like yeah we're gonna have this Star Wars marathon <laughs> <laughs> and literally I wanna say maybe 40 minutes into the first movie oh my I was gosh. knocked out so I, I didn't make it man. I, I didn't make it Willie was like man you tapped out early and I was like man I don't know what it was but yeah I, I've tried to you know to, to, to reboot one day I'm gonna do it though one day yeah. I'm gonna do it cause I need to I need to be in the in crowd. I need to know what's going on with Star Wars. <laughs> That's my one of my all time like like dreams or aspirations in life is to someday 
work or di- even direct it, a Star Wars film. That's like mm-hmm. one of my biggest things that I would just love to do. Yeah. Again, no doubt, man. You're you're on the right path, so I don't see it not happening. So, you know, like I said, I can't wait to, to see the things that you do and, you know, hopefully, like I said, you know, be able to mention you with nothing less. <laughs> All right, man, I think I've tapped out on questions. You, you've hit me with a couple hard ones. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, I guess this is where we'll we'll end it. Um, but we'll definitely, like I said, it looks like we might be getting back together again if I can get the band back, you know, to, to, to do this big hoorah. Um, but yeah, at this point, if you had to look in the camera and say one last thing to the viewers, um, what would it be? All right. Yeah, this has been Jacob Flores, Tyler and Wired. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any, anything on the slate as of right now. Just some behind the, behind the camera stuff, but now I'll keep everyone posted. Follow my socials again at Jacob D. Flores. And uh, yeah. All right. All right. There you have it. That was uh, Jacob Flores, Tyler from Wired. The book on Amazon. The trailer is on YouTube. Be sure to check it out. Um, can't wait to give it to you guys. Uh, and that's it. Peace. Thanks for stopping in.